meeting to order, please. Everyone, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I ask that you remain standing uh, after the Pledge of Allegiance for a moment of silence for the men and women who have served before us and during us uh, in the armed forces. And also, before we do the pledge, I'd like to yield to Councilwoman McAuliffe who has a special intention. Good evening. Um, if we could please all take a moment and bow our heads in a moment of silence in honor of the late Councilman Nancy Bader Drum, as yesterday was the anniversary of her one year passing. Nancy will hold a special place in all of our hearts as she was an amazing woman who served this community, was a loving mother, wife, and a friend to all of us. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Notice requirements of the open public meeting will have been satisfied concerning this meeting. The Homeless Tribune published a notice on November 25th, 2022. A copy of the uh, schedule was posted on the municipal bulletin board and should be so noted in the minutes of this meeting. Councilman Spiller. Here. Councilwoman Mia. Councilman Patel. Councilman Anderson. Here. Councilwoman De Jesus. Here. Councilman Small. Here. Councilwoman McCullough. Here. Councilman Fakara. Here. And Councilman Bauer. Here. At this time, uh, Council, I'd like to seek nominations for the Office of President for the year 2023. Mr. Mitch. Mr. Anderson. I would like to nominate Councilman Ficarra for the position of Council President. For the past 15 years, Councilman Ficarra has served on the Council with great distinguish, uh, distinction and purpose. Councilman Ficarra brings a wealth of experience that ranges from educational administration, health and wellness, business, the arts, and various government entities. Councilman Ficarra has a proven track record for leadership in government, and he has always been a responsive representative with excellent communication skills. As an independent critical thinker that is not hesitant to ask the why, Greg ensures that the checks and balances are always at work in our government. He is a passionate leader that truly loves the community in which he serves. He's a great family man and a loyal friend. It is for these, these and other reasons I would like to nominate Councilman Ficarra to serve as Council President for 2023. Thank you, Councilman. Do I have a second? Mr. Mitch. Mr. De Jesus. It's an honor for me to second the nomination of Councilman Greg Ficarra for Council President. Greg is a devoted husband, father, and grandfather. His dedication to his family and the work that he does to ensure that they have the best shows the character of the man that he is. I have no doubt that he is as equally devoted to the residents of Woolbridge Township. During his time in council and prior to being on council, Greg served and continues to serve on a multitude of boards, committees, and commissions. To say that every organization that he has served at or serves are truly fortunate is an understatement. Greg serves with an open heart. He truly wants to do the best for everyone he meets and for everyone that needs help. He serves Woodbridge by making sure that he advocates for those that can't and for what he believes will make this township the best place for absolutely everyone. Greg serves the people of Woodbridge without bias and with respect. All of his years as a councilman can attest to this. I know that all of us sitting on this dais see him as a friend and a mentor. He is the go-to person if we have a question or if we need an alley. He listens and always offers the best sound advice, and not necessarily always telling us what we want to hear, but offering what is the best solution for the problem. As council president, Greg will lead us with integrity, respect, and equality. It is why I am proud to second his nomination for council president. Thank you. Are there any other nominations for president? Any other nominations for president? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, <coughs> ayes have it. Congratulations.
to the governments established in the United States and in this state and the American people. And you will faithfully and partially and justly enforce all the laws and perform all the duties of the Office of Council President according to the best of your ability. So help me God. I do. Councilman Bauer for his uh, years, his, his year of service. He did a wonderful job, and it's uh, difficult to follow him. Certainly, my wife Maritza and my family for their years of support. Uh, Maritza and I are big supporters of the uh, effort to stop homelessness. We do that together. Thank you, Councilman Anderson and Day Jesus for your lovely uh, nominations and second, and the council for your friendship and support. Mr. Mitch, for your guidance and advice, and the mayor and the administration for their vision and hard work to make our town the best town around. Thank you, Council President. At this time, I'm gonna seek nominations for the office of Vice President. Mr. Mitch. Councilman Small. I would like to nominate Kyle Anderson for Vice President. Kyle has proudly served on the council since 2011. In addition to being a devoted husband to Denise and the father of their five children, Kyle has been a servant to the Township of Woodbridge for over 20 years. He has donated his time as a parent volunteer in our schools, as a coach for baseball, basketball, and football, where he currently serves as the president of the Woodbridge Broncos. Kyle has demonstrated the ability, character, and leadership in all of these areas, and I believe he would bring all of these qualities and more to the position of vice president. Thank you, Councilman. Do I have a second? Mr. Mitch? I second the nomination for Councilman Kyle Anderson for the position of Council Vice President. Our paths originally crossed when we were both coaching and running youth sports programs here in town. Here we sit together on this dais, achieving great things for our community and the work we do for our residents matter. Councilman Anderson brings years of dedication and leadership to this council. He has spent many years of his life giving back to this community through the organizations he has been part of professionally and as a volunteer. His actions as a leader inspires others to do more, learn more, and motivates people to achieve a common goal for the better of our community. Kyle is dedicated to the youth of this town, our residents, and especially his family. It's an honor and a privilege to second the nomination of Councilman Kyle Anderson for the position of Council Vice President. Congratulations, Kyle. Thank you, Councilman. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Congratulations, sir. Mr. 
Anderson, any comments this evening? First, am I moving over there? <laughs> <laughs> it's vacated already. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, uh, to uh, my council members, uh, especially those who nominated me, uh, Councilman Small and, and Councilman uh, Bauer, thank you very much for those words. They're very meaningful to me. Um, and it's, uh, it's wonderful to know that the work that we do here doesn't go unnoticed. To my other councilmates, um, thank you very much for your support as council vice president. Uh, council president, um, I will do my best to follow your lead and to support you the best I can. To the mayor and the administration, thank you. Um, and uh, to all the constituents of Woodbridge, I appreciate the faith that you've had in me as a uh, uh, public leader. Thank you. Right, move down there. As he's moving, I'm going to go right into the agenda. Uh, I'm going to take the first reading ordinances before you listed as letters A and B. Can I get a motion that these ordinances be passed on first reading, published in the note, Homeless Tribune on Friday, January 6, 2023, with notice of public hearing to be held on January 24, 23 at 6 p.m. Motion. Second. Any questions or comments from council? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. And then council before you have resolution, uh, resolutions listed 1 through 43. Can I get a motion by consent to approve 1 through 43? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments from council? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Mr. President. All right, so uh, at this time we're going into the public comment portion of this meeting. When approaching the microphone, please state your name and what section of the township or state that you live in. You will have a one-time opportunity to speak up to five minute period. All videotaping must be taken from the rear of the room in the designated area. There will be no shouting. Please be respectful of each other. Please make sure that there are no signs or posters in the aisles or walkways. What I'd like to introduce that I think is fair is that if between Mr. Mitch and I we can get to one minute left when the public is speaking, that we would give you some kind of sign in case there's an emphasis that you want to make. I just think that's a, a fair thing to do. So with that said, we're open to public comment. Anybody from the public have any comment this evening? Good evening, Tom Maris, Sports New Jersey. I'd like to start off by saying I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year's celebration um, between our last meeting and now. I'd like to thank Mr. Bauer for his dedication to this town, not only as council president in the last year, but also everything he does within the Forge community as a, a fireman. I'd also like to congratulate Mr. Vicara I'm, I think this is the third time, if not the fourth, that you've assumed that position. And I can kind of remember when both of us had different color hair and a little bit more of it. But <laughs> this speaks to uh, where we're at today. And uh, here we are. Again, uh, also to Mr. Kyle Anderson, I'm becoming vice president. Best of luck. I'm sure you'll fill that office with dignity. Um, I really have nothing to speak of as specific to any of the agendas. Um, I re recently reached out to certain officials within the town to say, I think this is a time when this country really needs healing. We watch what's going on with TV. We see the division. Uh, I've spoken to some of the people that come here and would berate this town. And I simply say to them, use that energy, use that talent to do something good in the town. They have that ability. Stop making it negative, turn it positive, create things, especially when you have an opportunity to influence children, as I think you know who I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna mention names. And I would encourage him to do that. In fact, I'll put my hand out and shake his hands if he's willing to do that. Uh, again, anybody, whether it be the Proud Boys, Black Lives Matter, whoever it may be, has a right to come to this council and present their thoughts, their feelings, because that's what America is all about. And I don't ever want to see that go away. Moving forward, I, I think there's a lot we can accomplish in the next year 
working together. And again, I've reached out to talk to certain public officials within the municipality and even in the school board to further that objective. Because I think we can do a lot working together. We can do a lot of healing, we can do a lot of good, stop the division, divisiveness, if you will. Um, and unfortunately, whether it be myself, or Mr. Batarek, or Mr. Lund, we only have five minutes to speak. And we're kind of jammed in. There are a lot of things I'd love to spend five or 10 minutes speaking about the praiseworthy things that this town does. But because we also have our own opinions and we represent a body of people, just look at the votes. There are people that voted for us, and I'm not trying to be political. But we're reaching out to them. And they have come back to us and asked us to, if they will, if we will, to represent them. Because for one reason or another, they don't want to be, appear before this body. So I think that's where our objectives are, and I hope we're going to stay very focused and be able to work together to just continue to help develop a town that I'm sure we all love. Thank you for your time and consideration and your service. Thank you, Mr. Maris. Just for the record, I've only been president one other time, and that was 10 years ago. I'm much more mature now. <laughs> You're not better. <clears throat> Uh, John Vitalik with Mitch again. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, a lot of familiar places, and I think we're in a good position with beginning of this year. And again, uh, last year, it was a hard year for everybody. And we all wish everybody a happy new year, of course. But let's hope that we get to it. Uh, there's a lot of other things we want to lay down. But again, over here in letter A, ordinance dedicated the permanent easement over the portion of the block 544, lot 77, not needed for a public purpose. What are we talking about? It is, it's a, uh, it's a very small easement that allows for handicapped access to a, uh, a, a business on Main Street. But that's public purpose, right? Probably what? That's, that's for public purpose. You said not needed for public purpose. It, it's needed for handicapped people to have access to that institution he or says business. Not needed for public purpose. Okay. It's, it's needed, problem. right? It, it refers to the property not being needed for public purpose. That's why we're, we're dedicating the property to the use for a private uh, company so they can use it for ADA compliance. I think it's a great idea, but again, it is a public purpose. That's probably the most important thing. It's for public purpose. Thank it's you. not public purpose in this case has a different textbook meaning. Well, what it means, but that's what you say. I mean, public purpose means we don't need it for a public purpose as a government. Well, we need it for people. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Starr. Any other comments this evening from the public? There are no other comments. Can I get a motion to uh, close the public portion of this meeting. Motion. Second. Any comments? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Yes. So we're going to go into our agendas, and Councilman Bauer, you're still first on my list, so next take it time. away. Next time. <laughs> next time. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to you on your position. Uh, I have item in my agenda, item number oh, seven, Ford's Hope on KB Fire Company. I'd like to congratulate all the fire and business officers from KB Ford's and Hope on Fire Company that were sworn in on January 1st. Thank you for all your volunteer and community service and wishing all of them a safe and healthy, happy new year. Referring back to uh, the holiday season, uh, I would like to thank all nine fire districts, Woodbridge Township Family and Rescue Squad, Woodbridge Township Fire Officers Association, Woodbridge Township Joint Board of Fire Commissioners, Red Knights Chapter 9, the Lower Ambulance Service. All these organizations made a monetary donation toward the Woodbridge Township Senior Billiard Club's annual Toys for Tots. We successfully raised over $3,000 for the purchase of gift cards, benefiting, benefiting so many older children within our township for the holiday season. And a special thanks to Patrick Betta from the Senior Billiard Club and my councilmate uh, holds dear to her heart, Debbie Meehan, who is always behind this event every year. That's all I have. Thank you, Council President. Thank you.
Councilman Bauer. Uh, for myself, I just wanted to point out that both the club at Woodbridge and the community center digitally and in, in paper have their uh, winter schedules out if you're looking for something to do. I know the new year is always a time where people are trying to turn over a new leaf as far as health is concerned, so now's a good time to do that. Uh, congratulations to all officers, especially Councilman Bauer, uh, for our fire departments that we got to uh, visit. And that's all I have this evening. Councilman Small, you're up next. Thank you, Council President, and congratulations. Uh, number four, Woodbridge PBA SOA 38. On February 25th, Woodbridge PBA SOA 38 will be continue its tradition of participating in a polar plunge event. On Saturday the 25th at Seaside Heights, each year the Polar Plunge challenges thousands of the bravest jumpers from around the state to enter freezing cold water as a sign of unity to help raise money for Special Olympics. It's a great way for individuals, teams, organizations, and businesses to get involved and help support the athletes. All funds raised go towards programming and events for thousands of athletes statewide to be able to participate completely free of charge. This year event uh, polar Gold is raising $2 million. If you'd like to uh, donate individually to the cause, you can go to www.plungeseaside.org or you can check out the Woodbridge PBA Local 38 Facebook page, follow the link that's posted to help PBA specifically raise the money towards their goal. Number 14, just a reminder, Mayor Max Cafe is open from Monday, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's located at 881 West Avenue in Port Reading. And number 17, the Woodbridge Elks, this Friday the 6th, is another stop on our Eating Across America tour. This, uh, this Friday is Miami. Miami themed food specials for purchase along with our regular bar menu from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Karaoke with DJ Bill from 8 to midnight. Uh, God bless all our township employees and God bless America. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman De Jesus, again, thank you for your uh, second and you are up with your agenda. Thank you, Council President. I would like to congratulate both you and Kyle on being uh, sworn in as Council President and Council Vice President. Um, my agenda is in order. I just have one announcement and that is the Woolwich Library will host a parent guide on how to pay for college, a virtual program for families of college-bound students with my college planning team on Thursday, January 12th at 7 p.m. Again, that will be Thursday, January 12th at 7 p.m. The library will also start a new series of ESL digital skills classes and conversation groups beginning January 23rd with certified tutors from Literacy, New Jersey in February. Again, um, I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and blessed new year, and that is all that I have. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, Councilman Spiller, you're up next. Thank you for your willingness to uh, take up that position as making no sense. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Council President Vicara. I just want to uh, congratulate yourself and Council Vice President Anderson. Uh, I look forward to working under your experience and your tutelage on the Council. So. Congratulations. Uh, item uh, agenda is light this, uh, tonight, this evening. Uh, item number eight, Avenal Fire Department. I'd just like to congratulate all the incoming uh, firematic and executive board officers uh, here, as well as throughout the entire township. Uh, maybe may we respond to 700 foul odors and down wires, and hopefully it's a nice fire safe year. Uh, Stick with Avenal Fire Department. I'd like to thank uh, the Avenal Board of Fire Commissioners. Um, and my fellow brothers and sisters at Avenel Fire Company, uh, the Woodbridge PBA, the Community Policing Brand, and uh, the administration. An absolute incredible event on Thursday, December 22nd, uh, where they um, put together a luncheon for some of our less fortunate seniors uh, who are also uh, home alone during the holidays. Uh, the mayor was there, um, a couple of uh, councilwomen to Jesus. It was just a fantastic event, great turnout. Uh, Director Hubner, please uh, offer. Um, the well wishes. So, um, thank you for all our emergency responders, fire, EMS, our Woodbridge Police Department, CERT, and all our public works and township employees. God bless America. Thank you, Council President Vicara. Thank you, Council Miss Speller. Uh, Councilwoman Meehan is excused this evening. That takes us to Vice President Anderson. Kyle, you're up. Kyle, you're up. I'm <laughs> over here. <laughs> thank you, Council President. Um, I will be brief. I have one announcement tonight. Um, 
coming up. Uh, this is the first time in a while, and I really want to uh, thank um, the administration for making this possible. Uh, this year we will ha we'll have our Martin Luther King um, event in person. It's been online, and, and it was magnificently done online over the last few years. Uh, the images that um, flowed behind the speakers uh, made it uh, really um, just nice on the eye and uh, everyone watching it. So I just think TV35, um, our public relations department um, have, have done a great job, but it's time to come back in person. And um, so Woodbridge Township will present The Dream Continues. Um, it's an interfaith memorial at the, and a remembrance honoring of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and this will be on Monday, January 16th at 6 p.m. and fittingly at the new Acacia Youth Center. Hence the word youth, let's get our kids out there and let's let them hear some word from some of our speakers. It's free, it's at 95 Port Reading Avenue and our speakers will be featuring members of the Interfaith Clergy Council, the Human Rights Commission, our president of the Independent Club as he sits uh, in the rear of the, the meeting today, um, Mr. Phil Hall and the Woodbridge Community Choir. And I usually like to offer some, some words as well, but our keynote speaker will be Reverend Neva Lawson from the First Baptist Church of Woodbridge, as he's always represented us at this event and done it so well. Um, we usually get a nice turnout, but usually it's the, it's the parents of the kids in the choir. And I know sometimes it's a cold evening, um, but uh, it would be wonderful to see um, that everyone is turning out throughout the count, uh, throughout the township uh, for an event like this. And um, if we can all, as you said earlier, sir, um, about keeping it very positive, we could talk about um, the progress that we've yet to make, um, but all of the hope that uh, Dr. King had for us. So that is all I have. I hope to see you all there, and um, Happy New Year to all. Vice President uh, Councilman Patel is excused. That takes us to Councilman Patel. Thank you, Council President. Congratulations to you and Kyle on your new positions, and Happy New Year to everybody. My agenda is in order. I just have a couple of things. Um, number three, the Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce will be hosting the Mayor's 16th Annual State of the Township on February 10th at the Delta Hotel, where the Mayor will be unveiling Interesting and exciting information for all residents of Woodbridge. You can go on the Chamber website to get information uh, to register for this event, which is woodbridgechamber.com. Also, the Chamber will be hosting a business owner's resource center lunch discussing on how to choose the right payroll and HR company for your business. So if you have a small business or something in town that you want to get information, please contact the Chamber to get information about that event. Number 14, the Sea Warren Library. The Sea Warren Library has many exciting events going on throughout the year, starting with the Sea Warren Library Loves Teachers programs, where teachers can stop in the library uh, for the week of January 9th through the 13th to pick up free supplies for their classrooms. And uh, they are also having a function where you can get information on how to use Google. On Saturday, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, that's on January 18th for a one hour session from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. On Saturday the 21st, they will have story time from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Contact the library at 732-634 7571 or log on to their website at the Sea Warren Library at gmail.org. And finally, for the Sea Warren Library, we would just like to congratulate Max Lingney for winning the gingerbread contest that was held in December. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. Lynch. Thank you, Mr. President. Under number one, letters A through F, I continue to work with the police department on the various change of corporate structures and person to person and or place to place transfers. Uh, two, three, four, five, and six remain untouched. Just number seven, by the time we come back next meeting, I'll report you on uh, our taxi auction, which will be held in uh, mid month. Myself and Mr. Lang will be conducting that. And finally, uh, it's just a reminder after legal, we'll be going into the Board of Health uh, agenda. Thank you. Very good. 
um, into the administration. Member McCormick, anything? Thank you, Council President. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody. I want to congratulate Howie Barrow on what I thought was a terrific year as Council President his first time around. I want to congratulate you on uh, getting to the Council Presidency for your second time around and also Kyle for second time around as Vice President. Uh, I want to echo what Sharon said. It's hard to believe that a year ago yesterday um, we were in Nancy Trump's house and she was laying on a bed in the living room and you know we all knew what was going to happen. Um, it's, it's just shocking that it's a year ago. Uh, and we all are saddened by the thought of that, but thank you for mentioning that. There are two items on the agenda. They're both standard taxes who are overpayments and 100% uh, veterans exemptions. And Councilman Anderson, I want to mention, Mr. Haggerty remind you, we reached out to all the schools in the district to remind them of the, <coughs> of the King event, to let them get that out to the parents, because that's what you have to do. So we're hoping to have a, a terrific turnout, and by the way, show off the Acacia Youth Center while we're there. Um, Sharon mentioned the state of the township address, and I can't tell you how, I'm working on it now, it's a couple of weeks away, but um, just can't tell you what it's like thinking about everything that we accomplished last year, and even more so looking forward to what we're hoping to accomplish this year. Um, there's so many great things happening in town, and I want to thank everybody who's a part of that, and I'll obviously elaborate that on uh, February 10th when you deliver the address, but uh, it is really exciting to see what's going to happen in 2023, and I thank everybody for your uh, cooperation, and I want to thank the administration for everything that they do, uh, as Councilman Ficarra said, to make this the best town around. And finally, <clears throat> as Mr. Maris said, uh, I'm totally looking forward to working together. Uh, we had a good conversation last week, uh, and the fact that you know you have your five minutes here, but we're available besides that. We're happy to talk to you about what's going on. We're proud of everything we do. You're not going to agree with a lot of it. That's okay. Um, but you know, I believe that we have the best interest of the town at heart, as I believe you do. Uh, and I'm looking forward to our administration uh, working better with um, uh, your team uh, into the future. So thank you for what you said. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor McCormick. Uh, business Administrator Semaluka, anything to add? No, he's, he's good. He's yeah, his, uh, his nephew's getting I'm sworn in into the mayor. Thank yeah. Thank <laughs> Director Hosner, you're next in line. Thank you, Council President. I have five traffic ordinances. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go down. Director Gordon. Thank you, Council President. Just our standard bi-weekly refund resolutions. Thank you. Thank you. Director Brew. Thank you, Council President. Uh, uh, one resolution approving the grant application for Route 9 and a Main Street signal improvement design and a release of a surety bond for 55 Brook Street. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Director. Anything from New York? Nothing. Thank you. That's good news. Uh, do we close the meeting? Oh. We're going to go right into the Board of Health. Director Pacharski, you want to lay the health stuff on us? Sure. Yeah. 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 I don't know if we made it into your packet, but we have a resolution we're seeking to a continuity an existing shared services agreement with the town of Helmetta for animal control services. But uh, if not, uh, 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 Council President, uh, particularly personal congratulations on your appointment. I've known you for a number of years. Uh, duly deserved, sir. Uh, with respect to our agenda, our dates for the noted rabies clinics that this year have been set. They are February 28th, May 23rd, and October 3rd. They're all from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Of course, they'll be uh, advertised uh, as, as the, those dates approach. But being the February date is not too far from now, so amazingly. I wanted to make mention of that. Um, otherwise, our agenda is in order. I do have a brief update on our flu vaccine and pandemic response programs. Uh, with the increase in the incidence of uh, flu illnesses throughout the state and country this year, our flu vaccine clinics, which we merged into our COVID clinics this past year, were particularly successful. We administered all, uh, but virtually a few of the uh, hundreds of flu vaccines we ordered. Uh, anyone who has not gotten a vaccine or are interested in the few that exist that are left, I can contact our nursing division at 732-855-0600, extension 5011. Um, with respect to our pandemic response program, as you all know, we've been providing COVID vaccination clinics since uh, December of 2020. Uh, and at the mayor's direction, we intend to uh, continue providing them through 2023. The 
the dates and times for those clinics are announced on the <coughs> Friday code red calls and can otherwise be found on the Woodbridge Township Health Department Facebook page. A couple of what I think is noteworthy as we came to a close in 2022, some data regarding our, our pandemic response in those clinics for 2022. Uh, we had a total of 62 COVID clinics, and again, we merged our, our flu clinics with those. Uh, we administered a total amount of vaccinations of 3,956. Now, remember, on well, my last statement I had, we had like 18,000 uh, for the previous uh, to date. That might sound like a smaller amount, but remember, the original vaccinations, you needed two to get fully and two and three boosters as the age groups uh, commenced. And in 2022, it was almost exclusively boosters, which are really one or two. So the same amount of people uh, were successfully protected. Uh, to that end, the total number of boosters we administered in 2022 was 3,514. And that was for ages five and up, which were either uh, already eligible or became eligible for such boosters during 2022. Uh, you might have heard that recently uh, the age group of six months to under five had been approved for boosters. Uh, those will be available at our next kids uh, COVID vaccination clinic, which is actually tomorrow, January 4th, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at our health center. Um, Another piece of data uh, that I thought was noteworthy, and, and as the mayor had noted on his last code red call, was that uh, we had a uh, the township had a 48 percent reduction in COVID fatalities this year, and that was for Woodbridge Township residents in 2022 from the previous year. Uh, I think it's noteworthy in and of itself, but particularly that it was significantly better than the 36% reduction reported for the state at large in 2022. Uh, and uh, the takeaway for me, and as noted by the mayor in his last code red, was that hopefully having our, you know, our own health department and our own easily accessible vaccination and booster clinics, that has helped our uh, Woodbridge Township population. So we will uh, continue to apply for and utilize the available state grants that are funding the cost of running these clinics, and I think that's important to know. And finally, I would like to thank you, Council, uh, for your support of these clinics and our health department and our school district nursing staff that continue to conduct the work that makes them possible. That's all I have to thank you. Thank you, Director, and uh, congratulations to you and your staff. I know that prior to the holiday, you had an open house over at the Health Center. It's always amazing to see the services that your group provides. So please extend our appreciation to them. And Council President, if I could too, they have just done an amazing job these last two years with vaccinations and with clinics on top of everything else. They already were fantastic. You throw almost three years worth of COVID on them and the health department was unbelievable. Dennis Green left it in great hands with Phil Bajowski, who's been terrific. I just can't say enough about the doctors, the nurses, the staff, the administrators, and the leaders of the health department. We're the best town around, and without a doubt, we have the best health department around. No other town in the county did vaccines for their residents at all, just Woodridge. Uh, we maintained our own health department. Everybody else wanted to go to the county. We said no years ago, and it's paid off, and we can control it now and give our residents what they deserve. These people have been amazing for the last three years. Thank you, Mayor. Well <coughs> said. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I thought so. <laughs> <laughs>